So a lot of people who work with audio lack the basic understanding of the most simple principle of all. What is sound? So let's start at the very beginning and just talk us through what we're talking about here. In its simplest form, sound occurs when an object vibrates. Okay. All right. And those vibrations, they create disturbances within the air. We need a medium. In this case, it is the air, but the medium could be wood. It could be air. It could be water. Anything that can receive a vibration, um, it can travel through it. Um, so those variations, we tend to call them waves. Okay. So these waves, as, as the waves travel through the air, what's actually happening is molecules in the air are being pushed forward and backward. Okay. Okay, so the way I try to describe it to students is imagine sound traveling through the medium, air. There's a series of curtains that is, that is just here. It's invisible, but the curtains are doing this. And when the vibrations occur, it's pushing outward. And the curtains, just like in the wind, is blowing. But then what happens? It comes back. It has back. to come back, right. So there's this constant push and pull. And so, you know, waves go up and then they go down. The up part are called compressions. The down part are called rarefactions. Okay. So when the curtain is moving forward, it's being compressed. Correct. When it comes back, it's being rarefied. <laughs> yes, rarefied, <laughs> rarefacted. Another way to think about it, the reason why we call the, the pushing or the upward part compression is that is actually higher than normal air pressure. Okay. So when it's silent, air pressure is pretty static. But when the vibration occurs in the air, the higher the normal air pressure is compression, the lower the normal air pressure is rarefaction. Got it. 